Where do you got at 112? Yeah, okay. So I'm taking the RB1 for me. Uh, and that's going to be Braylon Allen running back out of Wisconsin here. He didn't perform at the combine, weighed in at 235, which is losing. Did he, no, did he, weigh, did he weigh in? Am I making that up? Uh, he he weighed in. It was at, uh, I'll circle back on that in just a moment. Okay. So I think he's the best running back. I feel like he's getting overlooked because he had a down year. They bring in Phil Longo from UNC, Drake Mays, offensive coordinator there for two years. Phil Longo runs an air raid system. They try to kind of like, adapt a new system he was splitting reps with Ches Malusi for like the first half of the year um Nate Marquise who I think is our kind of our coaching systems expert at Cam Scan kind of came in and told us like ACC offenses don't just don't translate that well once they leave the ACC um which I thought was noticeable to constant I thought they kind of uh like readjusted back to the old like smash mouth football their second half of the year so I don't really take too much stock in his slightly down year I focus more on what he did as an early like running back. He is the best hammer I think we've seen in a long time come out of college. And I do think his spectrum, like his fantasy spectrum, is between like the King, Derrick Henry, and like AJ, AJ Dillon. I really don't think he's AJ Dillon though, though. I, I really do think Braylon's gonna be a phenomenal player at the next level. And we're gonna see him as pro day. So we haven't seen him at the combine, but he's slimmed down, and I assume that he's going to be playing at that new way at the next level. And that functional mobility going from 245 to 235 is like a huge step up. Like if you want to think about like Ramondre Stevenson, fourth round pick, he was also 240 playing at Virginia Tech, slimmed down to 227, and his value has just kind of skyrocketed since his uh, NFL draft. Yeah, does it affect your view of him at all, though, that he didn't run the 40? And, and how scared are you that you are spending the 112 on A.J. Dillon? If it is AJ Dillon, I'd be terrified. I would be absolutely terrified. But um, I'm not too scared that he didn't run the combine. I, he's kind of like a high profile guy. He probably wants to have his own setup and be like the spotlight of the show. Um, so I'm not too worried. That's like the new thing now, too. Everybody wants to do their pro days and have it set up a certain way for them to showcase whatever. I'm not really sure about the whole science behind it, but I'm not really worried at all. He didn't want to run the combine. Like, that's fine. John, do you have, you, you have any general thoughts on him? Are you concerned at all with the receiving uh, profile there? I mean, he went from eight receptions to 13 to 28. So there's a little bit of progression there. But in general, how do you feel about his receiving game? Because I know that's a barrier for a lot of manners. If they're going to be taking a running back at the very end of the first or the early second, they do want to see a little bit of that receiving profile. How do you feel about Braylon Allen? And do you think he can develop that at the next level? I think he showed us that he can be that Jonathan Taylor level of of like receiver. You know, he's not Jameer Gibbs or anything like that by any means, but you know, he did enough and it was a completely different system in this in this uh, junior year and they they utilized him more in the receiving game, but it was it's a lot of dinks and dunks. He's not running like amazing routes or anything like that. So he's never going to be that uh, you know, third down back that we want him to be, but that doesn't mean he can't be on the field for third downs. So, you know, I, 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 I like Braylon Allen. He's not my RB one, I will admit, but I do like Braylon Allen. Uh, and you know, like obviously I, I love the big boys. So, you know, I, I love me some Derrick Henry that, you know, that's always happening. He's not Derrick Henry. Don't ever comp him to Derrick Henry, please. And, and Mike didn't, but, um, yeah, I, I like Braylon Allen. I have no issues drafting him in, even in the first, but my one, my RB one has to go ahead of him. Okay, well, I think I think you're. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that down down the line. You might be able to get that play.